Hey guys, welcome to my Keychron C Run C One, a 10 keyless mechanical keyboard unboxing slash first impressions. The box is pretty solid. Um, I couldn't even get this off, but it took me some tries. But I was surprised that they had foam inside. It was very well packaged. And you can even use this foam to dampen the sound of your keyboard if you wanted to. I appreciate that they had this hot swap uh, switch manual because most people don't really know to, you know, to be gentle with them. <laughs> and they could break pretty easily. Uh, they also had this manual that was pretty clear. You need to use carabiner or sharp keys to remap the keys. Last I heard they were working on their own software, but it's not complete yet. What's nice about this keyboard is that there is a Mac or Windows physical button so you can just switch off from Mac modes and window mode if you use both. I accidentally got the one that was not backlit so I got really confused uh, trying to get the backlight on. They have like two different versions or three different versions. One's backlit, one has RGB and one is non-backlit which is the one I accidentally got. I appreciate all the foam in the case. It's pretty securely packaged so I don't think there's any chance of it breaking on the way. Uh, it came with a nice braided USB cable that has the USB-C to Type-A adapter just in case you know you don't your computer doesn't support USB-C, which is not bad at all and a pretty sturdy cable as I would say. It also came with a keycap puller and a switch puller. I think their their keycap puller is much better than mine. And I like that hole. It's easier to grab and remove the keys, but their switch puller is kind of bad, <laughs> I would say, um, as you can see later in the video where I try to remove some switches. They also give you some replacement keycaps just in case you want to switch um, any of the, you know, if you use Windows or Mac and you just want to switch those things around. For around $60, I think the case is much more sturdier than it looks like. It has a nice heft and it doesn't look like it would break pretty easily on the go. That's what I was gonna use it for. It's also hot swappable, so at that price range and what you get, I think it's really great value. It also has two um, different legs for if you want different tilt like degrees, so that's nice. They did a relatively nice paint job, all black around. Um, it's pretty clean to me, nothing wrong with it. I think the keycaps are ABS, but some of the legends aren't that great, so, but if you're planning on replacing them, it doesn't really matter anyway. My F5 and F6 didn't have any legends on it, but I'm not sure if that's just because I have the non-backlit version. Here's what it looks like if you have the legs on, and so it has a nice you know, degree of tilt. Um, I had no discomfort when I was typing with it so far. Here's how the keyboard sounds out of the box. I thought it sounded pretty good out of the box. Uh, the stabilizers didn't sound that pingy, but I would, you know, add some dampening foam, do some mods, and lube the stabs itself. I think the space bar had some ping to it, but here's me trying to remove the, you know, switch with that, that keycap, uh, the switch puller is not that great, but it has five pin socket, so it should fit all of your switches, which is nice. Next, we'll just have the typing test and see how it sounds like. You know, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised in receiving this board. I thought it would be pretty cheap and pretty plasticky and, you know, not, not that good quality, but for $60, you get keycap puller, switch puller, you get a hot swappable keyboard that is pretty solid just out of the box, but it would sound even better once you, you know, modified it. I think this would be a really great option for people who are looking for a cheap, hot swappable board that they just want to either start out with or use as a, as a testing keyboard for, you know, different switches. I definitely recommend, you know, taking a look at this or even, you know, considering it on your list of options when you're buying a keyboard. And if you buy from Keycon itself, you can get $15 off the listing price. So it's like roughly around $50, which is, in my opinion, a steal. Hopefully that helps you just sort out some options or just, you know, check out this board. See you next time. Peace.